Hello boys and girls and welcome to the ski team. Before you get ready to start your ski challenge, we're going to read a story that has to do with skiing. So what we're going to read tonight is called Learning to Ski with Mr. McGee. One winter morning at 6.53, Mr. McGee and his little dog D woke to fresh snow and a beautiful sky and decided it was time to give skiing a try. Before we drive all the way up to Mount Snow, follow me, D, I know where to go. Across from the house and just up the way is a great little hill with a view of the bay. We'll practice up there till we learn how to ski. Then we'll head for the mountain, said Mr. McGee. A few minutes later, they came to a spot where nothing could get in their way, McGee thought. So he put on his skis, D hopped in the pack. And with poles in his hands and his dog on his back, he inched to the edge very slowly until his skis teeter-tottered and started downhill. Not far down the hillside from Mr. McGee, and just out of sight, there just happened to be a curious moose. He was out on a search for the succulent sticks of the great northern birch. Then he spotted a tree, the biggest he'd seen, on the opposite side of a gaping ravine. The moose turned around, and what did he see? Mr. McGee and his little dog, D. The moose was so shocked he stood frozen in fear, but Mr. McGee hadn't learned how to steer, and he knew very soon they were going to collide. So he called to the moose, would you please step aside? But the moose didn't move, so McGee yelled, duck! And that was the moment they ran out of luck, because while they were sliding right under the moose, the tips of the ski snagged the log of a spruce. In a flash and a flip, they flew over the log, tossing poor Mr. McGee and his dog head over heels and straight into the gap. When the ends of his skis came down with a slap, so they were, stand, they were stranded, McGee and his pup, across a ravine a hundred feet up. They hung there suspended, not making a sound, when the moose came back, he looked all around. He didn't see Dee or McGee, but what's this? A bridge to the birch just above the abyss? The moose took a step. He was steady and slow, but his weight caused the skis to sag and to bow. And when he looked down, his heart skipped a beat, for McGee was right under his feet. With a snort, the moose leapt, and the skies went spring. They popped the air with a zip and a zing, and up like a rocket shot D and McGee. Landing feet first, just as safe as can be. Well, that was exciting, said Mr. McGee, but I'm not really sure we learned how to ski. I think I might need a lesson or two. I think that perhaps it's the best thing to do. And when we get home, he said with a smile, we'll let someone else use the skis for a while. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the book, Learning to Ski with Mr. McGee. Um, next, coming up next, you're going to have a ski challenge that you're gonna be working on with your family. Good luck, guys.